Callisto 5 and Callisto 9 maintenance. Changing the helium carrier gas cylinder. In this video, we will show you how to replace and how to start the gas flow of the helium carrier gas cylinder. We recommend that this operation be performed every four years. Here are the parts needed to replace the helium carrier gas cylinder. A helium carrier gas bottle. A 3 eighths of an inch flat screwdriver. An adjustable wrench. A 5 sixteenth of an inch open end wrench. Liquid leak detector or gas leak detector. Changing the helium carrier gas. Once the display menu is illuminated, navigate to the Maintenance menu and select Change Helium Carrier Gas. Read the on-screen information and press Next. Press Next to begin the procedure. Open the Callisto door. Remove the swage lock cap from the carrier vent in the entry panel, if installed. Close the shutoff valve on the old cylinder until a moderate resistance is encountered. Using an adjustable wrench, disconnect the gas fitting from the old cylinder. Make sure to keep the fitting clean. Note, if the fitting is a DIN6 or a DIN10, be sure to replace the PCTFE gasket with a new one. Remove the old cylinder and place a new one containing 99.9999% pure helium in its place. Do not open the shutoff valve on the new cylinder. Ensure that the exit port of the cylinder is free of any damage or debris. Connect the fitting to the new cylinder and tighten firmly with an adjustable wrench. Do not open the shutoff valve on the new cylinder. Slightly open the cylinder shutoff valve and close it as quickly as possible. Wait for the venting to be completed. This could take up to 10 minutes. Slightly open the cylinder shutoff valve a second time and close it again as quickly as possible. Please wait 5 to 10 minutes until venting is complete. Open the shutoff valve on the cylinder. Use Snoop liquid to check for leaks at the gas fitting on the cylinder. Acknowledge that all the previous steps have been completed in sequence by selecting Next. Carrier gas cylinder change complete. The unit will automatically resume operation in about one hour. Checking for gas leaks. After installing or changing a carrier or calibration gas cylinder, it is advisable to check for gas leaks. Gas leaks can shorten cylinder life and compromise measurement performance. If a leak checking fluid such as Snoop or Cal Blue is available, it is recommended to check the accessible fittings particularly those that have been connected in the field. Alternatively, a portable helium leak detector may be used to sniff for leaks around the fittings on a wind-still day. If a leak is detected, tighten the leaking fitting by 1 16th to 1 8th of a turn, 22 degrees to 45 degrees. If the leak persists, please contact Morgan Schaefer. Small leaks of calibration gas may be detected by watching for any of the following pressure loss error conditions that are based on readings from the calibration gas pressure sensor. Abnormal pressure drop in one hour. Abnormal pressure drop in 12 hours. Small leak. Abnormal pressure loss over several weeks of operation. It is recommended to watch for these errors soon after installing or changing the gas cylinder, and to contact Morgan Schaefer for assistance if they appear.
Some care should be taken in interpreting the pressure drop errors as leaks, since they could be caused by a decrease in temperature of the calibration gas cylinder if the door is open. To be sure, close the door and wait to see if the error condition clears. Recommended wait times are 2 hour wait for the 1 hour drop error, 13 hour wait for the 12 hour drop error. This completes the maintenance video for replacing the helium carrier gas cylinder. Please remember to follow these instructions carefully and contact us if you have any questions. Callisto can be virtually maintenance free when properly installed. If you have any questions about this procedure, please feel free to ask for our help. Morgan Schaefer offers worldwide service and technical support. We are here to help you. For detailed information, please refer to the Callisto 5 and Callisto 9 installation and operation manual or contact Morgan Schaefer's technical support department. This video was produced by Morgan Schaefer, a Doble engineering company, subsidiary of ESCO Technologies.